Why is food expensive in Nigeria? Do you know that between the farm and you, the final consumer, average the price of food rises between 25 to 40 percent? That is when it's not processed, and when it's processed, it goes as high as 100 percent between production and value chain addition. Behind me, we have an artisan rice mill, or a small scale rice mill, that depends on traditional way of milling in order to produce rice. What you can see are all rice that has been dropped with the engine for the hoxing inside. One could say reducing carbon footprint for food production in Africa. But you need to also put in fact, into consideration facts like affordability and accessibility. For you to make this more greener in producing food, one is to say, ask the technology alternate to this method of producing rice. Is it affordable and is it easily accessible to small scale farmers like this? Back to the subject matter. Why is food expensive? Aside from the unknown factors, we have the loss in production, which is one area that people don't understand. Post harvest loss is coming. Now, way around here, you can see rice growing. And it's estimated from the farm to the production site, from the threshing to the willowing and everything, and for that 20% of farm produce are lost in transit. Another problem that is happening here is non-uniform cooking pattern. Like this producer now is trying to mill his rice. But the problem might arise from the rice not getting properly cooked to as simple as this happening, where some rice particles are lost in the process. Another issue might that might come up will be as simple as where it is being milled, that side here, the rice is not properly gotten. From all the blocks, you have to something like this. You have to like this. This is just rescue food. You can see some percentage of the ice. Technology investment done. Okay. Proper investment in technology is done in like this. We keep having deregulated, unregulated price increments. Because when someone mills rice, for example, and, uh, and in the process, what he said is lost. Tries to put the cost on you, and that's why you get expensive. That's why you can buy a bag of bags of 100 kg for 2,000. And someone will be right inside that 100 kg, and you will charge 80,000 naira for it. And that thing again is, I think we are using diesel. And we all know the cost of energy currently now. And those are the issues that are under angle to see. We also have the issue of infrastructure. For example, this is much covered. Probably it was covered because of the rain. Now what simply happens is, now that it's raining season, the price of rice will go up because most of them are artisan miners, or millers rather, millers. And what happens is that they don't have the requisites, the required technology to mill both in rain and off rain. And funny enough, these guys account for more than 50% of our food consumption in Nigeria. So. If the rain is not making them mill their rice properly, what happens is the price will go up. There will be what is called artificial scarcity, which is caused by the rain. And sometimes irregular rain patterns and irregular weather patterns will also be characterized by climate change. So these are some of the issues that is causing food to be expensive in Nigeria. So technical know-how, problem energy, climate change, infrastructure, before we now finally come to security. The problem of security in this axis has been a bit contained thanks to the Bruno state government that has worked in synergy with relevant security agencies and provided security to farmers in this locality. But one cannot doubt the fact that factors like irregular rain pattern and a whole lot of factors something like this is going out of town. Now, aside from that, 
we also have availability of raw material which is characterized availability of raw material is characterized by access to farm input or access to farm produce and lack of access to farm produce is characterized by access or availability of farm produce lack of availability of farm produce is characterized by outputs from the farm and outputs from the farm is characterized by several factors so making food systems greener it's not all about sitting it in green paper. It's all about implementing it. A simple solution to this problem would be the federal government could site up a mini cottage mining for, um, or milling center here where could they could buy up this produce from farmers or design a solution that makes milling like this more sustainable and greener. Because if this man is milling like this, once the rain comes, he can no longer mill again. So these are some of the problems in food system. Thank you very much. I'm David. See you on the next one.